Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Mailgun to Go High Level in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of email communication and exploring how to seamlessly integrate two powerful platforms, Mailgun and Go High Level. By connecting these platforms, you can enhance your email marketing efforts and automate communication workflows and even engage with your audience. So effectively of course so make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser whatever you are going to use for me here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open that browser basically just go to this url section make sure to go to go high level dot com and open another tab and make sure to go to mailgun.com. Once you do so, of course, make sure to go and log in into your accounts, both on Go High Level. If you have an account, of course, if you don't, make sure to go and create a new one. And of course, it's going to be the same for Mailgun. So if you have an account, make sure to click on Login at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account by any chance, just click on Get Started, as you can see, for free. And make sure to fill up your information and create a new account. So how can we connect Mailgun with Go High Level? We're going to use another tool called Zapier. So just go and open a new tab, type zapier.com and hit the enter button. If it's your first time, you'll be taken to this page instead. Here you'll be able to click on login. As you can see, to login into your account, you'll be able to log in using Google, Facebook, Microsoft. If you don't want to fill up all the information manually, in the same, it's going to be for sign up, but you'll be able to do it just with Google. So you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. As you can see, you'll be able to have easy setup, no code required, free forever, four core features, and 14 days free trial of premium features and apps. So for me, I'll just go here and click on X. And as you can see, once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is simply check if they have the apps. So I'll just go to the test panel and click on apps here. And I'll look, first of all, for go high level. Of course, go high level does not exist here, but we are going to use this lead connector which will let us connect a uh, go high level of course to it and we'll be able to connect it to uh, mailgun so let's just check mailgun here also an example it exists here so click on connect on that and lead connector you can connect it here or you can connect it after if one you, while you're creating your zap so as an example i'll just go here to the first panel click on create and i'll click on create zaps and here of course i can use this ai tool to help me create triggers and actions or I can do it manually. So do whatever suits you. As an example, you can type when I add like React G to Slack uh, message, uh, create a task controller. As example, so they just give you an example. Of course, you can type, as example, when uh, I create a new lead or something like that, or new task, some or something on maybe a go high level, you get something, etc. Or you can do it manually. As an example, I'll just go here to trigger and choose an example, mail gun as a trigger. Just choose that and the action. I'll just choose lead connector as the action. So as you can see on Mailgun, for the event of the trigger, it's going to be as example, when I receive, uh, I don't know, maybe a new list, or maybe as example, a new bounce event. When I receive that, of course, after that, you'll have to go through connecting your account. So click on sign in and make sure to sign in into your Mailgun account. So as you can see here, you'll have to get a private API key. How to do that? Simply click in here. If you're logged into your account, you'll be taken to the specific page where you will find your API key. Other than that, you'll have to get the API or choose the API region. Are you from United States region or from uh, EU, which is Europe? And finally, here you'll have to choose a domain name. So as you can see, the domain name to use from the list of domains in Mailgun, the domain must reside in the same region as selected above. So fill up those informations, then click on yes, continue to Mailgun, and you'll be logged in into your account right away. Then, of course, you'll be able to test it out to test if this event with your account is working as intended. For the lead connector, it's going to be the same. So you'll have to choose the event that should be done once this trigger is tested and activated. Once you get this event, of course, on the trigger, once it's done, once you get a new bounce event, what this should this lead connector aka go high level do as an example maybe it should uh, let's say uh, maybe add a task create a new task so here of course after that you'll have to connect to your account so click on sign in and as you can see you'll have to enter your api key again so click on this and if you're logged into your go high level account you'll be taken to the same 
uh, to the exact page where you will get your RPI key before me I'm not logged in so they will tell me to log in so for you make sure to log in and you will get your RPI key enter that API key there and test if the action is working and test if the integration is working with your account specifically and if it is you will find instead of this like a uh, dark here a triangle or not like gray triangle uh, you'll find that like a check option where it will show as working of course if you'll need the help of ai as example here as you can see the ai will help you build zaps uh, suggest some zap outlines add in and replace step automatically choosing accounts and steps and guidance for completing zaps so it will help you out so basically you can chat with it as ChatGPT or as any other ai tool and which will help you especially if you did not familiarize yourself so much with this uh, zapier yet so once you're done and everything is working you can simply click on publish at the top right corner once you do so this automation that you created it's gonna be automated but of course for the free plan you have just two zaps option you'll not be able to create multi zaps but of course you can go and create another zap uh, if you want to automate another stuff as so as an example here I want to automate when I receive again a new list. Maybe this should create, I don't know, uh, uh, an, an API request or something like that. So you can go and create some, a lot of, uh, a large amount of zaps that is in the bound of the free plans uh, to, of course, do all the automated stuff that I want. So to keep testing those stuff and publish it, and then you will be good to go. And before even deploying as example, let's just ensure it's working as intended. And as I said, if you click on test, everything will be insured. And yeah, you'll be good to go as we said. So there you have it. By connecting email again to go high level, you can unlock some powerful email marketing capabilities and automate communication workflows to engage with your audience effectively. You can use this integration to enhance customer communications, streamline processes, and even drive business growth in the dynamic landscape of 2024 and beyond. So if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to, uh, to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.